Former White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham revealed Donald Trump knows exactly what he's doing when he gives these massive speeches and whether or not he actually believes in these conspiracy theories himself. He's not a crackpot. He's actually a very smart man. I mean, he was President of the United States. We have to give them a modicum of credit for that, Grisham told CNN's Jim Acosta on Sunday, January 7. But no, he knows he's lying. He used to tell me when I was press secretary, go out there and say this. And if it was false, he would say, it doesn't matter, Stephanie. Just say it over and over and over again, people will believe it. He knows his base believes in him. He knows he can basically say anything and his base will believe what he's saying, she continued. Grisham worked as the White House press secretary from July 2019 to April 2020 and went on to be the chief of staff for Melania Trump. However, after the Capitol attack on January 6, 2021, she resigned. Grisham is very vocal about how Trump, 77, is wreaking havoc on society with his rhetoric. Now I think this will help propel him into the general but I think that independents and you know, center-leaning Republicans are not going to be buying this, Grisham said. They're much much smarter than that and so I think that that he's going to get in trouble in the general with this kind of these kinds of lies. It was really hard for me to come to terms with who he was, because I really believed in him, his policies and the person I thought he was. So that's what I think I think that people just would rather believe these conspiracy theories, rather than admit that they were wrong about this person, she added. While working for Trump, Grisham admitted she believed his lies for a very long time. I think that when you put it all on the line and believe in somebody, I think it's easier than to just want to believe that the FBI, that the law enforcement, that the people who go to help us when we're in trouble would be behind something, rather than admitting that the person you've been backing for years and years is a fraud and actually doesn't care about the American people or our country, she shared. She concluded, I say that just from personal experience. It was really hard for me to come to terms with who he was because I really believed in him, his policies, and the person I thought he was. So that's what I think. I think that people just would rather believe these conspiracy theories rather than admit that they were wrong about this person.